RPH punching through the sound barrier. Inside the control tower, the driver's girlfriend and teammates appeared anxious as they prepared to count him down. 50 years ago tomorrow, Chuck Yeager flew supersonic for the first time. Andy Green knew that to bring that record down to earth, he would have to complete a four-second mile to reach his target. As he passed the halfway mark, a sonic bang could be heard. Until today, the thought of man travelling faster than the speed of sound on land had been confined to the realms of science fiction. Now, Andy Green has made that reality and made history. Uh, provisional Mach number on that run was 1.007. Richard Noble, the former world record holder, celebrated as the car prepared for a second supersonic run. Terry Lloyd, News at 10 in the Nevada desert. That's a wonderful achievement for the Thrust team. And that's News at 10 tonight.